Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take all those empty cardboard packages like cereal boxes and stuff and turn them into a multi-purpose organizer for your office or your craft room or whatever. So stick around! Welcome to Let's Create Something Great. I'm Samantha and today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle some things without having to throw them away and turn them into a functional organizer. I know I just hoard like cardboard anything like cardboard cereal boxes, cardboard granola bar boxes, just anything like that because I always think I can turn this into something. Um, obviously there's, you know, if you don't need to use them, you know, recycling is great, but if you can reuse them and you're right on your own home, not only is it going to save you some money, but it's going to be personalized for what you need. And I think that's what's great about these DIY kind of projects is that you can make them your own and customize them for your own needs. Obviously there's going to be multiple ways to do things like this, but I'm going to show you mine. So here it is. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plan how you want to arrange your boxes depending on your needs. Next, start cutting the sides out of the boxes that will be laying on their side. Then just take a piece of duct tape and um, tape all the way around the edges of the box to add stability and to close off any open ends because the only open end you want is the wide part on the top. Then just repeat this process for all of the boxes now my smaller boxes, they were already the width that I wanted, so I just trimmed them down so that they were the height that I wanted and so that they would line up well with the other boxes. I started with just some spray glue to glue all the boxes together. Make sure you protect your surface. Once they're glued together, I went in with some more duct tape and reinforced all the weak spots. You don't want it to fall apart. But once I was done, I took it outside and I started spray painting it black because that's what I had on hand. So then I decided that I hated the black and I broke down and decided to go to the hardware store. I then got really overwhelmed by all the options and I think I ended up coming home with like five different colors. When I got home, I finally settled on a nice green color that I painted over the black. It took several coats because I painted it black, but this looks so much better. I just started by taking a piece of Baker's twine and then started going through my crepe flower stash. And I just started stacking up different colors um, to make flower combos that I liked. And then I just took some colorful brads that I used to push through the center of the flowers to hold them together. And then I just took the brad itself and pinched it over the string. It did end up being a little bit loose, so after I filmed this, I ended up adding glue to hold them more securely. Once they're arranged the way you'd like, I just attached the string with the flowers to the front of the organize with just some scotch tape. And then all that's left is to arrange your supplies as you need. This organizer is great for school supplies and your pencils and books and whatever you might need. In my case, I ended up using it for my sticker collection. I've been needing to reorganize it and this was the perfect thing for it. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and it kind of gives me an idea if this is something that you like. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe. Um, we're a rapidly growing community here and I'm so excited about it. I'm super motivated. I am gonna to commit to one crafting video every Monday here for you and anything besides crafting will be bonus. So don't worry, there's gonna be a new craft video every week and then you might get me some extra times because I do have lots of ideas um, that I wanna do besides crafting. So stay tuned. Um, I'm Obviously this channel is just going to evolve as it goes and I want you guys here with me. That's it for this week. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week or maybe sooner. Bye guys. Mwah. And we danced all night to the best song ever. We knew every line. Can't remember how it goes, but I know that I can't forget how the hands on the best song ever.